Hi! This month I want to talk to you about organization. I personally love organization because I'm super OCD and uh, really type A and I just like everything to be in a certain precise place. So I love it and I think it's super beneficial to anybody because being organized makes you more productive, makes you happier, makes you feel better about like self-esteem wise as well as your things. So just being organized is really beneficial in a bunch of different ways. So I just wanted to kind of share with you some of my favorite organizational stuff and like how I made them. So today I'm going to tell you how I made my calendar. Now I showed it in my last video of my favorite organizational tools. Um, so this is just kind of like my big calendar that I have on my wall. And I, it's kind of like a month at a glance. So I'll put like my work schedule on there, any events that I need to go to, um, birthdays, uh, just kind of like stuff that I'm doing. And each sticky note is one day. So there's a lot of space on it. I can write really small if I have a lot going on or, you know, I can write as big as I want to if I only have like a couple things going on that day. I also put on there what days I'm working out. Um, and I have a separate calendar for my workout schedule that tells me which workout to do each day. But I can at least see, you know, okay, well, I have to work out in the morning this day or in the evening this day to work around my work schedule. So it just kind of like maps out your day so you're not like frazzled throughout the day. And you can get so much more done if you know these are the times I am doing something. These are the times I have available. It makes it so much more like... It gets relaxing to go through your day that way. At least I think. Some people are like really spontaneous. I'm not that girl. Mm -mm. So I just want to show you how I do it. So the first thing I did was I went to Target and I bought a big bulletin board. Um, well, it's cork board. Yeah, it's a cork board. I bought one of those and then I had ribbon already. You always can, of course, purchase that. They can get them at like Michael's or you could even get it at Target too. Cork boards are sold other places too. But I got ribbon, and I went for kind of a finer ribbon because I wanted to keep a lot of space on the board so that the sticky notes would fit. So I got ribbon. Um, you're going to need lots of, what are those called? The pins, you know what I'm talking about? Um, and I just use clear ones for the border, and then I use colorful ones for the actual days. But you're going to need those. Um, and Sharpies and sticky notes and that's about all you need. So I took my cork board and then I took my sticky notes and starting from the bottom up I measured how many like how much distance I needed between each sticky note to be able to fit four rows. So I did that and then I took my ribbon and I took it across where those sticky notes were laid and kind of laid them in between them and I pinned them on the ends. Now you can glue them if you would like to. I chose to pin mine just because I wasn't sure if I was going to want to change the ribbon at any time. I haven't since I've had it and I've had the calendar for a couple years. But if I had wanted to, I just wanted to make sure I had the option to change it. So I just pinned mine on the ends. And then I took the sticky notes the same way I did up. I went across. And with the size board I got, you definitely can fit seven. If you're nervous about it in the store, grab sticky notes and put them across the board and see if they fit. So that's what I did. And then I did the columns. I hope I'm getting that right, rows and columns. I'm going to look stupid if I'm not. But anyway, I think it's columns that I did and made spaced out just enough so the sticky note could fit. So it's basically making a square. And then with the space that I left at the top, I took sticky notes. And I keep mine uh, green as like the base because I have green in my room. It's my favorite color, so it works for me. Uh, you, of course, can do a neutral color or a bright color, whatever you want to do. And I took sticky notes and put them in half and then ripped the bottom part off and kept the part that was sticky and put that at the top of each column. And I did them Sunday through Saturday. So usually most weeks start on Sunday. That's just how I personally like mine. You, of course, could do it Monday through Sunday if you wanted to. It's your calendar. Do what you want. So I did mine Sunday through Saturday. 
and it's much smaller if you do the half sticky note. And then when it every month comes on, I do the same thing with the month sticky note counter. So I take the sticky note, put it in half, rip off the bottom, keep the sticky part, and that's where I'll write, you know, April or May. And I'll stick it up at the top on the actual border of the cork board. So it's kind of like out of the way because it would be a tough fit to try and get everything on there, at least with the size board I have. So then, as I go through the month, um, I'll wait till the end of the month, or sometimes a little before, because I like to be ahead of time on stuff. Um, I will. I like to lay my sticky notes out on a surface that's like a writing surface first, and then put them on the board. So I'll go through and number each sticky note for how many days of the month there is, write everything I have to do on those days, which I take all of that off of the calendar that's on my phone, and then... I'll of course stick them onto the board and I found that you can't just stick them, I have to pin them as well because if you just stick them they might stick for a little while but then they're going to fall. So I pin them and uh, I pinned the days of the week too because that would have fallen as well. So I pin them up there and then uh, as, a week, as the week the days go on I just cross out each day and that's kind of how I keep track of it. Ooh, my hair is like, I don't want to eat it. Um, so that's kind of how I keep track of it, and let me see, did I miss anything? Uh, sometimes it doesn't all fit, like the days, uh, the months that there's like 30 or 31, depending on what day the month starts in, sometimes it doesn't all fit. So I'll do one of two things, I'll either take a sticky note and do a half on it and do like 30, 31 or I will wrap it around. So let's say you're looking at a calendar and the month starts on Thursday. I would go all the way through and then with the ones that are left I would take back up so it's on the same starting week and I'll put the last couple ones up there. Uh, I don't prefer that way just because it kind of gets a little confusing when you're looking at it. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just weird. But when I'm looking at it, I'm like, wait, well, it's the end of the month and it's the beginning and what? So I usually go for the half unless I have a lot to do the last two days and it doesn't all fit on the sticky note. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope it gave you some maybe inspiration for making your own calendar or maybe ways that you can do it on a smaller scale, whatever. Um, I hope you love this video. I will see you on Sunday with a new workout and on Wednesday with a new lifestyle video. Uh, like I said, this month we're doing organizational month. Ooh, ooh. So I will see you soon and keep a lookout for the motivational Monday. They will be coming. I just don't know when, but at least once a month. So keep a lookout. I will see you soon and have a fantastic week. Bye.